Hello, hello, hello. Oh, isn't that a wonderful camera? I just love that camera. I love it. I just love it. So we are going to flip over. Well, now it's working. We'll have to see whether it will behave or not. If it won't behave, I'll turn it off. So we are going to do something. I don't know what. I don't know if I want to do the buffalo or not. I'll see what kind of energy I get from you guys. See what we're going to do. And I have some fun news. For you guys. Because I ran to the post office and... I um, ran to the store. Hi, Ann. How are you doing? So, see if the notifications will go out. And we'll get some people in here and then we'll rock and roll. It is snowing today. Just started snowing about an hour ago. I guess you can't put off winter forever. Oh, these notifications are slow. How slow can you go? Oh, there it goes again. I just love that. I love it. I tell you, I love it. So we'll just shut you off and put your big brother on. Here we go. More better. Or better. Let's see if I can get it over here so it looks like we're all on the same wavelength. Ah. Okay, well, waiting, waiting, waiting. Keep them ladies waiting. Ride. We have two people in here, Anne. Wow! Sandy, you're popular. Oh, good. Are you having fun with it? Good deal. Stop it. You guys play nice or you're going in your crates. Hi, Willow. There's not everyone here. There's only four people. Nobody loves me anymore. I'm going to go eat worms. So we got the shop moved because obviously you're not looking at the back door anymore you're looking at the oop, oh there that's the middle bedroom sort of but it's a hallway and you have to walk through it and it doesn't have a door on it room you didn't get any a notice yeah, I don't know what's going on with YouTube. Fire them. Fire all of them. Oh, I hope that doesn't get out. 
Sandy's lost it. Okay, now we have six people in. Exponentially, this is going to take a long time. <laughs> oh, dear, guys. This is too funny. Well, I broke down and ordered a, over the weekend, a neck mandrel to make those torques on. I've been wanting one for a while, and I finally just said, ah, would you just do it, Sandy? You got MSP auction coming up, and everybody likes those torques. And so I did. Hey, Shelly. Happy Monday to you also. So we um, we had a stream earlier going, and I made, uh, what did I make? I made a coral ring. That's what I made. And a bracelet, but it's over here. Okay. Let's see. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so I didn't put the ring shank on this coral ring again. Okay, now watch this. I love this part. Focus. Instant. Clyde here just focuses right away. It's because he's a scared of me. So this is the, let me see if I can see. I got a C to see. I got a C to see. This is a bracelet I made. I know, it's kind of hard to, to see because it's so shiny. And see, in the sea, you can see and it's shiny and you can't see. Hmm. And then I haven't set the stone on this yet because, oh. Because I like stones falling out. <laughs> Not. Okay. Stay. We'll see if it will stay. Um, this is the coral ring. Let's see. I can show it. Not very good. But okay, there we go. That's the coral ring, and then whoever buys it, I'll put the ring shank with the appropriate number next to it, on it. Oh, we're up to eight, eight, eight people. Yay, yay. I have a feeling that the notifications just are not going out. Yep, yep, yep. Oh no, your laptop and camera are in the shop. How come? Moonstone Mamas, hello. We're just waiting for a few people in your email. Wow. This is uh, this is weird. I don't know. YouTube is getting strange. It used to be that I would come on and within a minute um the notification had gone out and there were close to a dozen people in, you know. So I don't know what the heck. I've been on for almost 10 minutes and there's 10 people in. So I I don't know. 
I just don't know, can't figure it out. So, I went to the post office here in my big metropolis of Ferrum. And then I went to the store and this woman was staring at me. And I got to the checkout. She got to the checkout behind me. And our eyes met and she looked at me and she says, are you Sandy? I said, yes. And she got this real big grin on her face and she goes, I'm one of your subscribers. Lives a block away from me. Is that not cool? I think that's pretty cool. So I told her that she needed to come over to the house. So maybe we'll have one of the Farron subs on one of these days. Yeah, how funny. I mean, really in Farron? Somebody else has heard of me in Farron? Oh, yeah. I think it's way cool. You're right. Mr. Mama, way cool. I mean, if that's not dope, I don't know what dope is. Maybe. I probably used that wrong, right? Because, see, in my day, I'd say, God, that was really cherry. You know, that was... Man, that was bitching, you know? Yeah, I hope so, too. Um, I believe she said her name was Kimberly. Kimberly something, and I don't remember names that well. So, stop it. Stop it. Hmm. So I hope she comes in and says, hi, you know, I saw you in the grocery store the other day. Anyway, what are we going to do? I didn't sleep again last night, so I don't have a whole lot of energy. And actually, let's see, did I copy the, did I copy the deal? This little deal here, copy, close, come over here, paste. For anybody that would like to come in and chat, you are all welcome. Hi, Bernini. Everybody's welcome in the chat, guys. Everybody. So if you want to just jump on in here, that's great. So, do you guys want to see how the shop is rearranged now? Nobody's saying anything. It's my Really, you have to put your claws into my leg? Ow. All right. We shall see. Cinnamon wants to see, too. Okay. So, come here, cat. You need to go over here. <laughs> All right, so the workbench used to be, right, oops, how did I do that? No, 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 I'm screwing up, guys. Hang on, I just messed everything up. Okay, where that bench is now, the bench that I work at was there. That's the wax bench. And there's the bar top. And there's my matching. And then we come around and kids' house. 
And then, wait a minute, hold on. I have to get out of the way. Okay, the kids' house, they come around. There's my pickle pot and my workbench. We'll get back over here. All right. Focus. Ah, I love the way that focuses. And my stump. I gotta have a stump. You gotta have a stump. Stop. Stop it. Hey. And then rocks, tools, miscellaneous, yada yada yada, buffer, grinder. Everybody needs a grinder. And then my rolling mill and my vulcanizer to make molds and my great big slab of steel to pound things on. And my vice. I love my vice. I uh, I changed the you know that slip handle to this so you can shut it and open it real quick instead of sliding that thing through and going halfway and then slide it through and going halfway. Anyway, that was my idea of I don't know. Making life easier, I guess. So, I don't know, it feels better. It feels much better. So, hi, Sandy. Oh, there's Vicki Porter. Hi, Vicki Porter. Hi, how's everybody doing? I know I look really bad today. <clears throat> I'm feeling um, oh. allergies. Oh. And a sore throat. I woke up, my throat feels like it's this big. Oh, no. So, did you hear about the, le the gal I met in the grocery store? Were you in here? No, uh uh. Tell me. I uh, went to the post office and I went to the grocery store, and this woman was staring at me. And I get up to the checkout stand and she's right behind me and she looks at me and our eyes, you know, met. She says, are you Sandy? And I said, yes. She goes, I'm one of your subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> How bizarre. Is that that never happened to wild? me. <laughs> yes. She lives, she lives uh, about a block away from me. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That is so crazy. So I told her, I said, you got to come over. Yes. You, know, you just got to come over. Yeah. So I think I asked her her name. And then, of course, I didn't remember, remember it. Yeah. I think it was Kimberly something. But hopefully if she comes in the chat, she'll say. Yeah. Hey, Sandy, I saw you at the, at the uh, grocery store. Did I, did I see snow out your window? What the world? Yep. Oh, and we have UPS. Ah, yeah. Wow. We got, we well, got we packages. <laughs> it it was like a blizzard for about ten minutes, and then it quit. <laughs> Redneck doorbell. Yep. So, uh, yeah, that just blew my mind. The, that, I think I would be so excited if something like that happened to me. I mean, what are the odds? It's happened to Thelma. Really? Yeah. Thelma said, um, don't you remember she was out uh, thrift shopping? And, um, oh, you know what? Maybe it wasn't Thelma. It was Miss Angie. Miss Angie ran into one of her subscribers, somebody that knew her. I thought Thelma did too, but I might be wrong about that. Huh. I don't know. But that has got to be a very surreal feeling to yeah. have a follower actually recognize you. Yeah. You know, well, geez, I'm, you know, in you guys' space about four times a week or, or more. 
depending on how many auctions we have. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and I've been told that I'm memorable. So, you are memorable. Once um, I, like, the very first time I saw you on video um, was right before Dawn came down and helped you with your auction after you had that procedure done. I mean, that's when I remember seeing you in my, you know, in my feeds and I started, um, and at first when I started going in, I was a lurker. I did not let my presence be known. I was just a lurker um, because I was like, she's not going to want to talk to me. I mean, Dee was in there and she was helping you with the chat. And this was so long ago. <laughs> I just thought Sandy's, she's not going to want to talk to some little lowly person like me. <laughs> Are you, is that the impression that the, that I did? I felt like you were up here and I was down here when I first started watching you. I really did. Oh, I hope so you, it was, uh, you were hanging out with Don and Barb. And to me, those people were unattainable. I was the new kid on the block and I was watching everybody, but let's face it. I was not in their circle. And so when I first saw you, I just lumped you in that same category. And then I think the very first time you asked me to come in, Dia, um, well, she was doing something else. She was unavailable, but she came in later. Uh -huh. And I went in and I helped you. I remember um, what, what told me it was meant to be was I was able to get in without too much trouble. Uh -huh. That was still when I was relatively new. And um, yeah, I just, from, from that minute on, I was, I was hooked. I was hooked. I didn't think of you as, you know, way up here and me way down here. And I didn't think of us as here, but I thought of us as in the same room, you know? Yeah, and then after that, you're just so you, what you see is what you get. You are exactly what you say. You're just Sandy, but you are kind. You are generous. You are loving, and um, that's just the way. Oh, I, yeah. I know I'm ruining your reputation. I know <laughs> you don't have to tell people that. <laughs> I'll give you it's the twenty dollars later. It's the truth. Yeah. <laughs> It's the truth. And that's exactly how I felt. You made me feel at home. I didn't, yeah. I wasn't made to feel like I was the little guy down at the bottom to be stepped on. You know, I, I was made to feel like I was worthy, you know, like I was the same as you. Well, so, sure. Yeah. Well, that, I'm, I would be, I, I honestly, guys, I would be crushed if anybody ever got the impression that I had put myself above anybody else. That's I, why I'm saying this because you have never done that. You have never yeah. done that. It was just, I had that vision of you because of the people at the time yeah. that you were, you know, associated with. So, um, but yeah, you're my Sandy now. <laughs> <laughs> You're my girl. <laughs> what what were you saying, Vanessa? Did you did somebody um did you have a subscriber uh say hi to you, Vanessa? Or did I read that wrong? Oh, guess who that is, guys? Uh <laughs> Cinnamon. She's a camera hound. How she loves the camera. camera. <laughs> Well, it's funny because my cats like to be in the room with me and she's beautiful. She gets more beautiful every day. Look at her. She's shaking her head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me, let me lick myself here in front of everybody. They recognized Vanessa at um, the hospital in Starbucks. Wow. Cool. That is cool. Yeah. Well, that's I the first time. I'd never have anybody recognize me because there are. A few people here in the area. I mean, Faith Robin, she literally lives less than three miles from me. Yeah. Um, I, other than her, you know, picture, I don't know what she looks like. I actually um, sent a message to her 
um, inviting her out to lunch and to go shopping, but I haven't heard back from her yet. Now, she did just put out an announcement that she and her hubby are starting a um, pretty sure it's a jewelry channel that um, a lot of the jewelry that she is making called sparkly, the sparklybeads.com. Uh -huh. And now they're opening up their own store online uh -huh. and a uh, website and everything. And she wanted me to um, put that out there. Of course, I haven't had a video yet. I was thinking about doing one today, but it didn't happen. My throat is just so raw. Oh, she recognized the necklace Vanessa was wearing. Oh, my gosh. Because she wanted to buy it. That is too <laughs> funny. <laughs> that Isn't is that funny. crazy, guys? Well, you know, I mean, honestly, guys, this is a town of 1,600 people. Well, someone. A small <laughs> we don't have a traffic light in this town. And we don't have a traffic light in the next town. You have to go to the next town to have a traffic light. That's how small it is around here. And somebody <laughs> walk up to me in the, uh, that's just, to me, that's unbelievable. Yeah. That, you know. I think that's awesome. That also means that you may have a friend in the area now too, Sandy. There you go. Yeah. yeah. She looked familiar, though. Well, maybe you saw her picture in the chat. chat. She may have a YouTube channel also. She I don't know. You said you think her name was Kimberly? I think so. Okay. But, guys, you know, I suffer from mush. Someone can tell me their name, and I'm so overstimulated and excited that I immediately forget their name. So unless I have somebody with me who will remember the name or I write it down, I won't forget. I mean, I won't, I won't remember. Yeah. My memory is like that. So that just, that just really, it made my day. I bet. I bet it would make my day too. And, and that she doesn't live clear across town or anything. She lives a literally, up. Yeah. Right down the street. So she figured out, I guess, from some of the videos where I've shown the outside of the house, she figured out which house I lived in. And she probably knows Kent, too. No, you know, he doesn't socialize. Oh, okay. Um, you know, we just don't really get out to the town. And when you do, it's to go to doctor's appointments and stuff like that in mm -hmm. another town. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's it's not in this town. So... Um, the people who know us here kind of have to want to know us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they see them well. Yeah. yeah I mean, I'm, I'm from know. a small rural area. And it was the same way there, especially since we live 10 miles out of town. I mean, we yeah. lived in a small town of Myersdale, but we were 10 miles out of town. And we rode the bus. There were town kids, and then there were the out of town kids. And I was one of the out of town kids. <laughs> Joy Beauty Brown, how do you do? How are you doing today? Happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday. Happy <laughs> Monday to you. <laughs> Sandy's singing today. Yeah, yeah, we're in trouble. And there has been no alcohol involved yet. I think everybody enjoys your singing. Everybody, oh, you guys have to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be sick to enjoy this voice. Yeah. I so hope that your girl who recognizes you sees you on video one day and just comes down and knocks on the door and says, I, I thought I would invite myself into your video. I wish she would. And make friends. Yeah. Yeah, if you see this video, you are welcome at the house any time. I'd love to get to know you. Of course, the dogs and the cats will love you to death. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Literally to death. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, let's see what I got out there from that. 
the yes man from the brown guy from the brown man yeah oh my gosh i hadn't been to the post office in a few days uh -oh. i came out with a whole arm of full of packages it was yay crazy. lots of things to open up lots yeah it was fun <laughs> So we got Amazon. Amazon. I wonder if this is my gem tester. Ooh, did you buy one? Uh, well, I bought a diamond tester that said okay. that said that it could detect rubies, sapphires, and emeralds. Okay. Now, well, those are all considered um, precious gems. Everything else is considered semi-precious. Now, this is uh, another anvil I brought, bought. I bought a, a neck anvil to make those torque necklaces. Yes. But this is a, another little anvil that I bought. So many tools, so little time. I know. <laughs> so oh and it's double boxed i'm impressed denise says she wants to know what you're smoking she's vaping i'm vaping and i vape clove oh is that what you vape clove um okay all right so hey, Mama. glad you joined us are you coming in hon Come on in. All right. So this, it's covered in oil, so I don't think I want to go any further than this. Ugh. Got to clean it up real good, huh? Yeah. Okay. This is just a little anvil to help you make rivets and that. Okay. But it, it sure saves a lot of time and energy. Oh, so. yeah. I just decided to get me one of these here things. I don't blame you. I like it. <laughs> All right. So what are we going to do, guys? Should we do that buffalo? Should we try to do the buffalo? I'm not real sure I can do it, but should we try to do the buffalo, the amber buffalo? Let me clean That's off. Well, um Right as I was laying down, I woke up at like four o'clock this morning. So by like 10 or 11, I was ready to lay back down. Yeah. <laughs> and you were just coming on at that time. And I thought, okay, do I lay here and listen to her as I go to sleep? <laughs> yeah. And I thought, okay, Vicki, let's face it. If you turn Sandy on, you are not going to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm like Ella. I have to be up awake. I have to know what's going on. I'm nosy. <laughs> My daughter calls me the porch watcher. When I was in property management, I was always looking out the window. Every time there was a police car or a fire truck, I was all over it. And Sean is like, Mom, you are such a porch watcher. And I'm like, I'm property manager of a property. I have to know what's going on. If there's a fire truck, I want to know what's going on. She's like, you porch watcher. I mean, she still calls me porch watcher. If I get up and look out the window here, and my window is on the street, so I always see when the fire trucks come in. Yeah. I still get called a porch watcher. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Are you feeling better, hon? Hello. Oops. Hello. I'm glad you were able to join us today, huh? Am, am I echoing? I don't hear an echo. No, okay. no. good, good. Uh, I'm here and there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm beginning to get so frustrated not being able to well, get up and do what I want to do. Yeah. I feel bad for you. And I know Darlene's frustrated for you, too. Oh, bless the heart. She sure has been good. Yeah. Your whole family loves you very much. Yes. Yes, they do. Along with Usens. <laughs> Usens. Usens love you, too. Uh, okay. Well, I brought somebody new in. 
You did? Yeah. Yes. Her, well, name, you... her name is Judy Medley. Okay. I see her there. Can you see her in chat? Yes. I see her yep. in chat. She's, she's, right one, she's one of my uh, longtime friends. She's one of the ones that I have to uh, leave y'all for to go over there and talk. Oh, to you. Oh, okay. so you brought her with you this time. <laughs> yes. Job, Mama. Yeah. Now you don't have to leave us. You just bring her with you. <laughs> well, then there's several more. So, you know. Yeah. Bring the whole, uh, day. Bring the whole group, huh? There you go. We'll just, we'll yeah. have a party. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, Judy's, uh, she's in one of them keepers. She's, uh, she lives What's in, uh, she lives in Illinois. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Illinois. Well, Judy, welcome. Yes, welcome, Judy. Land of misfit toys. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to come to some of our auctions and all. And, uh, oh, nice. But she kind of stays um, in the background. Yeah. I'm going right. to try to kind of pull her out. Her and movie. there's Joy Beauty. Hey, Joy Brown. Brown from Down Under. Hey, uh -huh. darling. Good day, mate. Oh, yeah, good day. Good day, good day. I love when I hear Kathy Valentine say that. I know. It's just like, I, it just brings an instant smile to my face. I don't know. Uh, why, but um, who was it from um, Australia said that a lot of people don't usually say that, but Kathy says it, and yeah, I love it. He yeah. says it. I can't remember who I heard say that, that a lot of people don't really use that term anymore, but I love it. To me, that's like pure down under, that's pure Australian. Oh, yes. <laughs> and yeah. I love it. That's like us saying, hey, y'all. Yeah. You, know. um, you missed it if you didn't catch the, the live this morning. No, I, I saw I, the fan was on, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep. <laughs> if no one had been in with you, I probably would have come, but I saw that Lizanne was in with you. Yeah, well, let me, um, I have a new camera. <gasps> okay. So let me uh, do this. I'll show it to you guys. I showed it this morning. I am so thrilled with it that I just can't hardly stand it. Okay. So this is this is Ubu. Okay. So, and this is Clyde. Oh goodness. And oh, wow, okay. You, can, you you know, it's on a stand and you can you adjust can it, yeah. adjust them around like that, or you can tip them down. Oh, or, ooh, you can actually probably just about get anywhere with that thing. Correct. But now let me go and get a Opal for you. <laughs> I want to know what I can do. I'm getting goose bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, that camera uh, reminds me of that movie, but I forget the name of that uh, little old robot now. Um, uh, number yeah. nine. Was that his name? What was that? Number nine. Yes, I no. think that was it. Wasn't that the robot name? It had nine? those big bug eyes. Yeah. <laughs> no, that wasn't it. What, um, what was it? It was a young girl and a young boy. Yeah. B.B. Cates, and I can't remember who the boy was. Hmm. Okay. okay. So let me go back over to uh, Clyde now. And... Uh, there we go. Okay, now we're on Clyde. Okay. So I'm gonna clear. Turn him this way and go down. Now this opal doesn't have, you know, the spectacular color in it. But <laughs> oh, that's a nice color in there, though. I like the darkness in there. And I can punch a button. And wow. it will focus. Oh my gosh. Sandy, yeah. you can see the color inside of that stone. Yes. Yes. Wow. <laughs> is Clyde Amazing. not? Clyde is awesome. 
You know how much Clyde costs? How much? $20. You're Make kidding. you holla. <laughs> well, I'd say Clyde is definitely worth his um his salt. Oh, look how pretty. Oh my gosh. This oh. is what I have been trying to show you guys forever. Yeah. Wow. I was unable to. But to now, the techno oh. miracles of Clyde. Yeah. You guys can see it now. If I get it out of out of focus, I can just punch a button. And it'll refocus. That, that quickly, it'll refocus. Wow. You did good. I have, I have the feeling that we're all going to have to order a Clyde. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you say something about a telescope or... Well, uh, it's a microscope, microscope. Yeah. Yeah. Moonstone Mama says that puppy's dancing now. Yep. Now you guys can see yeah. what I'm talking about. So awesome. Um, yeah. And just that quick, it'll, it'll focus on it. Is wow. that not incredible? Yes. I really like Clyde. Yeah. yeah. I really like Clyde. So I'm going to do some research on um, where to where to get him. And then I'll start putting the link in. Oh, where did you get him from? Seems to me like I bought him used. Okay. Oh, my gosh. But I know Amazon has cameras like this. On uh -huh. them, so I'm just going to have to, to go and and find it and um then i'll i'll put the the link up but uh, um awesome. guys for jewelry i tell you i was getting so frustrated with the auctions and that darn camera just not i bet you said you be the first one to get a, a clyde because she's been having a problem with um um, I don't know if it's actually her lights or her camera. I know she lost one of her lights and she just hadn't had time to replace it yet. But um, I think it might be a little bit of a combination between the cameras and the, the lights. Yeah. And I, I have at least five cameras in, in this house. <laughs> yeah. And none of them focus like this little $20 camera. Yeah. Yeah, that right. good boy. I paid, I think the most I paid was close to $100 for one of them. Wow. So it was supposed to be wonderful. Well, I don't mind paying $100 if it's going to be wonderful, but right. it wasn't. You know? Yeah, Shauna told me, um, I was watching a video, I don't know which one it was, but we were talking about the camera issues and I said, so, so how much does it cost to buy a camera that's jewelry recognition and not face recognition? And she right, said, yeah. about three or $400. <laughs> oh, yeah. I said, Oh, <laughs> well, I think I just stumbled into, I think you did too. It's going to benefit the whole community. And let's hope that we can all, you know, that there's something close enough to him that we can all get. And um, 20 just, bucks, Sandra. Just a plug and play. Yeah. I, I plugged it in. My computer searched for the driver. And then that was it. Huh. Um, then I got the computer. My mom plugged this camera that came with the computer. Um, if I unplug it from the computer and then I go to plug it back in, I have to wait for it to recognize. So generally I just try to leave it plugged in if I can and just, you know, take it off yeah. the back of the computer if I'm not using it. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, another way to do it is plug it in and then hit refresh. Okay. <clears throat> and that should, um, um, have it search for it and uh, get it hooked up. But yeah, guys, I am definitely going to share with you. I'll, I'll tonight after we get off here, I'm going to go hunting for Clyde and Clyde and see if, um, cause 
you know, if you're doing auctions, you can afford twenty dollars for a for a damn good camera. You, you can't afford not to afford it. No, you can't because they can't buy it if they can't see it. Right. Buy. Exactly. I had that biggest problem in the beginning. Yeah. So. Um, well, you know, Moonstone Mamas, your phone is a very good camera. It's a great camera, in fact. So, um, I but I tried to use my phone on StreamYard, and you can't zoom with your phone. So, I need something that will, you know, um, micro um, focus. Yeah. Not just broad. Hey. Yeah. yeah. So, and we all do actually to to see the jewelry. We all need a micro focus. Right. That is in this. Um, and what got me going? I can't remember who it was. Um, <laughs> you, Melissa, she has a feeling that whatever link you share is going to get hammered with sales. <laughs> yeah. Um, <coughs> you love jewelry or something like that. He said, you need to look into a microscope camera. And I said, I have one. And I just don't know where it was. Well, it's yesterday I found it and started playing with it. And I was just amazed at, you know, how uh -huh. well this thing does. So... Uh -huh. Um, well, that's that amazing, the difference. I mean, the difference. Like you said, we weren't able to see hardly any of the, these beautiful opals that you have been <clears throat> showing us. No, and it just frustrated me so bad because you could not see the colors. Well, now yeah. you see why I was frustrated because those colors are, I mean, that those opals are outrageous. Yes. <laughs> Compared there to was no color in that opal. I don't think it could have had any more color. It was so saturated. You could you could see them, but we couldn't. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I would be looking at my monitor going, I don't see any of the color guys. <laughs> uh, you know, I am so sorry because these are outrageous. You know, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm they, so they are beautiful. beautiful. And so now you see what I was talking about. Is exactly. Those, Hey, really? you got you got a lot of opals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. What exactly are you saying, Ma Ma? <laughs> that I hope one of them's gonna have my name on it after Christmas if I can <laughs> save up my pennies, you know. <laughs> or get it on the railway plan or something. <laughs> Bro, I went to the post office and your package is here. Thank you very Ooh. much. So, new opal camera, Roberta. Wait, did you see the new opal camera? Did you see me uh, demonstrate this new camera I've got? This expensive camera. I think she was in. Yeah, it's so expensive that we all can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> We're um, gonna all be looking for it. Yeah, okay. I thought she did. Okay, uh, yeah, she did. So, yeah, and I'm really happy with the way that the shop turned out, how we... Well, um, how did you do that? I, I noticed, like, things are moved around, and you had somebody there to help you, right? Pearl was here. Okay. Yeah, she sure did a lot in a, in a short time. Yeah. Yeah, and actually... Pearl did most of it, and we got another piece of masonite down on the floor. So I quit getting, you know, caught in the in the splits between the masonite. And okay. Hey, tell her I'll pay her two dollars more an hour than what you do, and for her to just come on over here <laughs> and help me out. No, oh, I'm sorry. I wouldn't take her away from you. <laughs> She was so cute. She came in and, and she says, okay, well, it's two o'clock and I got to go because I have to take my kid to the doctor. And I said, that's fine. And she says, um, 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 uh, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Aww. Are you going to camps? 
And I said, um, I really don't know, you know, because they haven't firmed anything up. They haven't, yeah. And she goes, well, uh, uh, my husband's family is so big, we're having it at the church, and we have plenty, so I just don't want to do the Thanksgiving dinner. Aw. Oh, that's sweet. That is sweet. I be over there on Thanksgiving, so I may just go over there, you know, stop in and, and meet the, the, the kids. Extended you know. family, yeah. Yeah. She's got five kids, and she doesn't look like she's over 30. I was going to say, are we talking about the same girl? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't look like she's old enough to have five kids. And a 17-year-old. Wow. Oh, my yeah. And she's just a jewel. You know, she's just, she's saved my sanity, guys. Yeah. She really has saved my sanity. Um, because I was just getting so frustrated with boxes and bins and that everywhere. And she yeah. came in here and tore into it. You know, How did you come across her? I mean, there was a um, uh, posted note at the post office. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. And um, it said, you know, that she would do gardening and housekeeping and car detailing. And, oh, my gosh, it was just a list of things. And it wasn't anything related to the one before. You know? yeah. <laughs> okay, I think this gal is going to work for me. Because I yeah. I can do all of that stuff. A little bit of everything. Yeah, and she has never balked at anything I've asked her to do, and um, she will not take a break. She just puts her head down and just keeps working. Uh -huh. oh, bless us. Yeah. We uh, unpacked in my whole kitchen, washed all the shelves, put down shelf paper, put away dishes, washed uh -huh. all the dishes before she put them away. I mean, just... You know, just a really hard worker. Uh, she's just really been a blessing to me. So wow. sounds like it. Georgia <laughs> says, "Oh, I was going to send my Learjet for you to come here for my birthday Thanksgiving dinner, but it's in the shop, Sandy." <laughs> so is Thanksgiving your birthday, Roberta? <laughs> yeah, I think I remember her saying that. Aw. Oh, your Learjet. All righty. <laughs> yeah. Only you, Ro. Only you send the jet for me. Yes. Bye, Judy. Thank you for coming over, hon. I'll see you in just a few minutes. Thanks, Judy. Good to meet you. Yes. Glad you could come and visit with us. She's a very sweet person. Aw, that's cool. She helps me out so much on my computer and, you know, stuff, programs and stuff. Yeah, cool. We all need need friends like that. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Doggone, but I need to be a friend of somebody like that. But I don't know nothing. I was just going to say, <laughs> I would have to be a friend for a different reason. Right. I'm a computer person. <laughs> Oh, it's me because I don't, I know nothing. <laughs> I know I just how to be dangerous. I see nothing. Okay, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> we just channeled Schultz from Hogan's Heroes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. Oh, dear. Oh, craziness, guys. Absolute craziness. I just enjoy you guys so much. You know, my. We enjoy you too. Oh, you goodness, do. yes. But um, I just, I just could not believe when I met somebody at the grocery store that was my subscriber. That would be so funny. In Farron, Utah. You know, yeah. it's funny because I have had people. Um, say to me, I have seen you on TV. And that quick, I would say, I'm sorry, you must be thinking of somebody else. <laughs> this chick is not on TV. However, 
when this boy then said he was one of my residents at the time, he was a teenage, like 13, 14 years old. And he said, I have seen you on TV. I was like, nah, you're thinking of somebody else. He said, no, he said it was a program for social services. And as soon as he said that, I said, yep, you saw me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I've actually been on TV twice the first time. Um, when I was a single mother and I had uh, my daughter, um, I was on the system for a short time. And when she uh, went into kindergarten, they said, okay, your daughter's in school now, you have to go back to work. And I said, I'm disabled. They said, are you deemed disabled by the government? And I said, I don't know, but I'm disabled. And they said, well, you have to find a job and you have to go back to work because we're not going to give you your $220 a month. You know, like that was a whole awful lot of big money back then. <laughs> but I got. So I actually found a job. It was a temporary job, but um, it led to getting a permanent job. And um, so they actually had a program at that time that you if you if you found a job they would give your employer the 220 dollars that they sent you a month they paid 100 percent of your child care they paid your mileage back and forth to work wow. and in the dc metropolitan area that's a good thing because yeah. you can live in virginia and have to drive into dc to work mm -hmm. i actually drove an hour each way i drove from oh, her wow. to alexandria virginia and the traffic was horrific but they were doing all this and they were also um for um one year i got to keep the insurance that i had because back then it was six months to a year to you qualified you had to be working for an employer at least six months before they would give you insurance wow. so it was like they um they met up um, and met you where it was going to cut off you know what i'm saying yeah and i was actually able to get off the system now i was one of the very few that did it but i wasn't raised being on the system i couldn't wait to get yeah. off the system and i think that makes a difference if you're raised in the system you don't know any other way yeah um, because i had a best friend there in the area where i lived and she and her girls had been on the system since they moved to virginia and that's that's all they knew. They told me everywhere to go to get every kind of assistance you can think of. But whenever you go back to work, you no longer qualify for things. <coughs> but because everything overlapped for a year, I was able to get off the system. So they did a um, documentary on how we were, how I was able to get off the system. Yeah. Um, and then last year, actually a year and a half ago, I was on TV um, when my sister's dentist uh, fitted me with implants. Oh, okay. I was one of his um, people that he um, had on his, they would go around to different doctors and dentists and specialists and, you know, um, show what their specialty is. And he had like five people that he brought on and what they look like beforehand. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to see a messed up mouth, you should have seen mine. I had bad teeth from the time I was young, but all the medication I took over the years definitely did not help anything. Yeah. But yes. The beautiful teeth that you see now are a product of a dentist. And I'm <laughs> that, you know, I was able to um, have this done because uh, I literally, you know, would have no teeth. All of my teeth were dropping out of my head because of medications that I had been on for years. Yeah. So I was very happy with my, I even told how um, the first time I bit into an apple again, mm -hmm. how happy I was. And I called my mom and I said, I just bit into my first apple in like 15 years. Oh. That was a big deal. I mean, when they a soft food diet to, you know, being able to eat a potato chip or a crunchy apple again, it just totally changes their world. So mm -hmm. I still have people 
uh, contacting me on Facebook and saying, I'm seeing your, your dentist thing on TV. <laughs> you look so good. <laughs> But yes, oh, I've been on TV twice. <laughs> Not famous for either one, but and well, Sandy, give it, give it time. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, gang, I'm gonna. I'll have to leave y'all. I got four minutes to get over yonder. <laughs> All right, sweetie. So, I sure have enjoyed it, though. We've Thank enjoyed you too. I'm glad you could come in, Mama. We miss you. Well, yeah. I've missed being here too. I get here when I can. Yeah. yeah. And Perfect. I shall see y'all then tomorrow. Yep. See you tomorrow. Love, you. Love you all. Bye bye. Bye, bye everybody in the chat. Bye. <laughs> all right. So let's take this. We will take Clyde over. Clyde. There. I mean, you know, don't you name things? I name. Yes, you know. I was just gonna say though. I think I would have picked um, a snazzier name. Clyde reminds me of a big old horse. <laughs> you know, with the the uh, fur locks, the furry things hanging around their hooves. Those big um, Clydesdales. Uh huh. That's what I think of when you say Clyde. Okay. I used to have neighbors back home that had those big horses. Okay. See how fuzzy it is. Yes. No watch. I just punch a button. Wow. And that's how fast it amazing. Is. Look at it's all that coral and all that turquoise. Yep. Wow. I got stuff, honey. I can't wait to play. I got stuff. So, so Sandy, I called my doctor's office today and it was not a good phone call. Okay. At all. Did you rip them a new one? Oh, I told them that this was unacceptable. Unacceptable. I don't care. And my voice was, you know, getting higher. And I said, look, I'm sorry. <laughs> that I'm yelling. But this has gone on long enough. I said, first of all, you people, let me, you know, um, uh, run out of my medication. Yeah. And then you give me a half dosage and I can semi understand that, but this is a month later. Now I'm ready to get back to my real life. Okay. Give me, give me my medication back. Yeah. <clears throat> and I mean, it was so quiet on the other end of the phone. You could have heard. <laughs> I mean, I, and I did, I said, I'm so sorry that I'm taking it out on you. It's not your fault. I said, as a matter of fact, if you want to hand me off to somebody else, go right ahead because I, I just yelled at you and I apologize, but I'm, I'm frustrated. I said, I cannot function the way I am. Yeah. I can't do it. And um, so she said she was going to um, contact the doctor, which it sounded like he wasn't in that office today. Uh -huh. They've got like six or seven offices that they all travel around to. So, wow. yeah. That's that's pretty crazy that you know. Yeah, and then I also gave him devil too because I went to get my images on Friday to the hospital, and guess what? There was no order in the system. Oh, brother. So yeah, so I he gave me the register there at the off at the hospital gave me his personal fax number and said, "Tell them to fax it here to me." Wow. And so I did, but nothing has happened yet. Oh gosh. Huh. Well, so did you get any satisfaction? Did they did they call in a, the medication or no, no. Well, let me rephrase that. They called in the lower dose prescription and I said put a hold on that at my request. I mean, I could get it and then double up on the pills and it would last me two weeks. Yeah. But then in two weeks, I'm screwed and I don't get to see the doctor again. They're actually going to see me in January. So they've given me yeah. two months leeway this time, which they don't usually do. They usually see me every 30 days. Right. So yeah. this time they're going 60 days, which gives me time to, you know, come up to Utah and visit and even yeah. go to Pennsylvania and visit and then come back to the middle of January. Yeah. So, um, Yeah. I was happy about that, but doggone. Yeah, that's, that's still not right, man. 
No, and I told her, I said, look, I said, I know you people could care less. I said, but I can go find another pain management company. They're everywhere out here in Arizona. Yeah. I said, I don't want to do that. I like the doctor that I'm seeing. I want to continue to see him. So I don't want to change. I said, but you people are going to make me do something I don't want to do. Yeah. So, I mean, was she, how did she sound to you? She, she seemed sympathetic. Of course, you know, I'm the one screaming and yelling on the <laughs> <laughs> She was very, you know, I understand. I understand. I understand. And she didn't pass me off to someone else. Like I gave her the option to, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, sometimes when people be mad at me, um, I just, you know, it stresses me out and I don't want to deal with it anymore. You know, yeah. it's not something that was my fault. It's not something I can do anything about. Right. You no, know, she just kept dealing with me and she said, I'm going to, of course, that was like right before I got on here with you. I had just finished with them on the phone. So I haven't heard anything yet. Yeah. And I probably won't until tomorrow. And I might not even hear anything tomorrow. I may have to call them back to raise the apple again. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to make this guy's legs. I'm pulling out silver here that I got. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this but Moon said so, mama says she's got to run she's headed out but she'll um she enjoyed she enjoyed hanging out with us all right cool uh, and that was Devin, i guess the daughter the mother is jamie okay hmm Oh, Mary, I feel for you. If you're going through the same thing I'm going through, I can only imagine your frustration. With pain management? Is that what I guess. She you said know? she did the same thing I did on <laughs> Friday. Yeah. Those guys should not be treating you or us that way. I agree. So, I, I agree. agree. They're here to help us, not to cause us more stress. And you know what? The the doctor I go to, he's actually a physician's assistant. Um, yeah. So he's above a nurse, but he's not quite a doctor. Right. I love him to death. He is so sweet and so kind. And he shoots from the hip. He doesn't, you know... Um, there's no padding on anything, you know, he just tells you how it is. And I don't like people to, um, sugarcoat things. Yeah. If it's bad, it's not that I want to know that it's bad, but I want to know what's, what, what is going on, you know? You the truth. Yes. And you I feel like, the truth. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you can't handle the truth. <laughs> but yeah, I really like him a lot and I do not want to switch doctors. This is the pain management um, I've been going to since I came out here to uh, Arizona. And, yeah. I, you know, I don't want to switch unless I have to. But, you know, at, at this point, I feel like they're kind of backing me into a corner here. Yeah. Okay. So I think I got what I want to do, but I'm not real sure. So I guess we just get going on this thing and sees what happens so you're going to try to um the buffalo you're going to try to do a what'd you call it a petroglyph yeah okay yeah i didn't right. get to see the other one you made that must have been during the time when i was really bad i remember yeah. seeing something displayed for a hot new york second yeah. and for somebody's daughter uh-huh yes and um i was like oh and then it was gone and um so i'm looking forward to watching you make this one yeah uh i'm not quite sure how it's going to turn out but we'll see we will definitely see okay. I I figured out sort of what i want to do but no, Willow, I'm more apt 
to do that for my mom and dad, but whenever it comes to me, I just, I don't know. I feel like a little pool of jelly. And sometimes I just feel like I can't, I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like I can't stand up and do what I need to do for myself. I could do it for my mom and dad, <laughs> but when it comes to myself, I don't know. I just, I'm not sure what the deal is. Yeah. It's hard yeah. to advocate for yourself, you know, to stand yeah. up. And, uh, I understand. I definitely do. Uh, let me see. I can lift that up a little bit. You guys can see. Are you doing this buffalo for yourself, Sandy? Pardon me? Are you doing the buffalo for yourself or is it something that um, you're going to sell? It depends on how good it turns out. <laughs> if, it, if it turns out, I'm going to sell it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. It'll be for sale. See what happens. Now I need some. I need, I need. Yeah, I'll do it if I have to, too, Willow. But I also hate confrontation. I will turn around and go in the opposite direction to avoid it. Hmm. What are you looking for, Sandy? Uh, some bezel wire. And here it is. Is your finger still sore? Yeah. <laughs> I bet. You took a chunk out of that finger. Ugh. Yeah. And that afterwards made my heart hurt for you. Well, it's been a long time since I hurt myself that bad. Yeah. I just was not paying attention that day. I don't know what the heck had me distracted, but I was. I was definitely distracted. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, that was a bad burn. Yeah, it still is, actually. <gasps> oh, Roberta. Yay. What? She's um, Roberta just said, um, look at the picture I sent you. And um, underneath the picture, it says happy birthday to me. She has the most beautiful ruby zoocyte pendant. I, have oh, yeah. ever I was supposed to tell you guys about it. Wow. I messed up and I didn't. So that's so did. well, she sent me the picture and um, it is gorgeous. Yes, it is. It's a beautiful piece of Ruby and Zoocyte. I don't know if you're able to see that. Hold on. Oh, I know what I can do. I can uh, bring it up on my phone and show you guys. I was going to say, put my screen big. Uh, okay. Hang on. Uh, there. There, it's, it's gorgeous, darling. Yes, girl. and that's one of the biggest pieces of Ruby Zoocyte I have seen too. That is spectacular. Yep, that's nice. Congratulations, Roberta. You deserve it, honey. Yep. Good job. Uh huh. 
All right, let's see here. Go back to me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I thought we were going to get a bunch of snow when I went out to the post office. It was a blizzard. And then it quit. Yeah. Huh. Boy, when we had that snowfall in February, I was stunned at the snow that was falling here in Arizona. Yeah. And it, and it snowed solid for like four to five hours. I mean, it was, um, yeah, it was a, it was a big snowfall for Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> and I have just recently been watching. Um, I found out they're only like 45 minutes away from me in Benson, Arizona, but a goat farm. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can take my girls there to um, see the baby. They're, they're like the dwarf goats. Uh huh. The fainting ones, <laughs> those funny ones that they'll look at you and all of a sudden they fall over. Yeah. <laughs> They're really cute too. Yeah. But, um, I'm making arrangements with her to um, take the girls there so they can see the little goats and chickens and all that good kind of stuff. Oh, that'll be fun. Lydia, if you haven't been getting notifi notifications, what I do period periodically is I go back to my channels that I watch frequently and I will check because sometimes I don't know how you get unsubscribed because that has happened to me with a couple of channels that I watch frequently. I don't know how it happened, but it happened. So I will now go back and frequently check, you know, click onto it, like unsubscribe and then subscribe again. So it's fresh. Yeah, I still think they're screwing around with not putting notifications out when you go live. Yeah, they're doing it. There's actually a lot of glitches um, going on right now. Um, I've seen people in other different venue channels like this goat farmer. I mean, even people in that channel were talking about how they were being, you know, unsubscribed and not getting notifications and that kind of thing. Well, um, Darlene this morning had a purple monkey with a wrench, and you couldn't type in her chat. A purple monkey? Yeah, with a wrench, and it said that something about that channel had been discontinued or something. I don't know. She was really upset. Maybe that's why I couldn't find her this morning. No, nope. we were over at uh, Tracy's. Okay. Yeah, because nobody could type in the chat. Wow. On her channel. So, you know, this monetization and this child, children, COPA thing. Now, I watched a video about the COPA thing. Um, and uh, what the guy pretty much said, and he actually called, what is it, the FTC? Uh -huh. And he spoke to somebody there and he said and I've heard it two different ways he said it's nothing to worry about okay and but then on the other hand I have one of my other channels that I watch it's a um, feral cat channel she um, uh, had feral cats in the back of her backyard and um, she was able to bring, you know, tame four feral cats and now they live in her house, but she still has 
a couple of feral cats at, out in the yard that she still feeds and takes care of, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. But this is my understanding. The channels that have content geared for children uh -huh. um, are supposed to be not monetized. Okay. She's monetized. Huh. Hold on. It sounds like one of the kids trying to get in the door. Ah, couldn't get the door open, could you? No, it's too long. It was not locked. Hey, Grandma didn't lock the door. Then why was it too hard to open? I don't know. Maybe you have funny hands like Grandma's. <laughs> I want to try. I want to try. Okay, Grandma's actually on a video. I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off now. Look at her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at that. <laughs> yeah, you heard my noisemakers come out. <laughs> of course, I could always take this back in the bedroom, but um, I'm going to stay out here with the girls. Um, is there anybody else who would like to come in with you? I don't know. Hello. I wonder if it work. Oh no, it's nighttime in Germany by now after midnight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> maybe she's maybe she's in bed for once. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know, know how she does it. I hope she's in bed. Yeah. You want to drink a grandma's water? Okay. Oh, that looks good. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. There you go. Drink it. Drink it. Thank you. Drink it. You can have some if you want it. There we go. All right. So that's the bezel around it. Yeah. We've got to start. I'm just feeling my way through this, so we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Oh, you're chasing the flux. <laughs> yeah. I am going to turn the TV on for the girls. Yeah. You want to watch? Uh, I want the train. Watch what? I want the train. The trains? All right, let's see if we can get this bezel on there without bursting it. You want to watch Tayo or Chichi Go Buster? Huh? Tayo? Tayo? Buster?
Oh, Sandy, you like jewelry says um, that they don't think they still make your camera. The used ones sell for around $30 and that they were sold by a lot of companies years ago. Oh, okay. Uh, well, hey, if an old camera does that good, I'd still buy it. Well, and I think I would try, you know, the new one too. Right. Yeah. A lot of these channels that are considered um, children's content, Lydia just said a lady named Mary Greeley had her ads taken away. She talks about earthquakes, volcanoes, etc. No more income for her in that. Wow. So they are demonetizing channels that were once monetized if they are children content. Huh. That's a shame. I don't, I don't get it. Good gosh, girl. What are you doing over there? Rearranging the... Oh, you know what? <laughs> Maybe I should mute that. I didn't realize you could hear all that. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> That's funny. Oh dear. Okay, so how are we going to put legs on this guy? Need some legs. Need some legs. Okay. Let's see here. It's... Uh, Get over this way a little bit. So, if I come down, Take some trial and error, guys. Thank you. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. Right there. Hmm. Maybe I should try some smaller gauge wire. Maybe, maybe. Let's see. I have some out.
black hair for round two. Half round. Half round. Don't tell me I don't have any ground wire to make those legs out of. No. No. Help me, Mr. Bill. Help me. Help me. Let's see. That's smaller. No, looks like that was the same size. Shoot. Come on, I'm ready to do this thing and I don't want to be messing around with it. Don't want to mess around. Hmm. No, push off. Okay, well, let's see how half round looks. Half round, yeah, half, half round. I could do that. Yeah. See if that works. Yeah. Okay, try this nacho again. Actually, try some flat corners here. Okay. May have a wiener, 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 chicken wiener. I'm back. I was wondering what happened. I went to, uh, um, I went back to my bedroom for a second. I came back out and 
it was like on me, like I was the picture. <laughs> <laughs> My computer shut down. Huh. Yeah. Oh, well. Mine does that every now and again, but not often. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can get some lights on this guy. You just gonna put some silver dangles or how you gonna well I'm not real sure. Okay. I'm just it's just trial and error right now. Yeah. What the heck are you tearing apart? <laughs> My son will fill in the dishwasher. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is the house still standing? <laughs> We're going to give him a tail, too. How about that? <laughs> we'll give you a tail. I don't want to do that in round wire. Round, round, get around. I get around. So we are going to, how are we going to do this? We're going to go up and we're going to give them a curly cue kind of zinc. We're going to give them a Z table tail. <laughs> Z tail. Okay, let's see. Go this way. This way. Yep. Okay. That's gonna work, I think. It'll be the strangest buffalo you guys ever saw. And let me smash the end of his tail over here. <laughs> Whatsoever. Okay. All right. 
So we got this here. That. I think I want another bend in the tail. Zigzaggy. There we go. Okay, so we got a couple of legs and we got a zigzaggy tail. And now we need horns. Horns. Let me put that piece of water. We need horns. Okay, I'm back and there's no other noise. <laughs> <laughs> I came back to the bedroom. <laughs> I did not realize that you were here and all that dish clatter. I apologize. <laughs> and it just sounded like your house was just falling apart. <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny, but because it sounded like the place was falling down around my ears. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now we got horns. Yay. going to have a buffalo. I don't know. It's going to be a strange, strange looking buffalo. That's okay. Strange looking buffalo. Uh, Apparently, we it. evolved from a one cell amoeba, so <laughs> <laughs> there's all kinds of strange looking um, creatures on this earth. Yep. Some that we haven't even seen, probably never will see. Yeah. Oh, forgot that light blue last night. <laughs>
the boy since I burnt myself, my hands are sure sensitive to the flame. Yeah. Uh, very sensitive. Come on, you son of a gun. No way, no way. No way, no. Ah, darn it. Come here. Come here. You're making me mad. Uh oh. Making don't me want to make me mad. Don't make me mad. going to be persnickety. Don't you hate it when they get like that? Yeah. You know, they think they're the boss. Yeah. And they're not. I am. <laughs> I was going to say, you need to show them who is the boss. <laughs> um, right. I am now showing him who's the boss. Take that. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, I am now the boss, so cool it. <laughs> ah, come on. There we go. <clears throat> Hey, Denise. Hey, Michelle. Oh, come on. Just melt, would you? I think, I think, I think we got it. All right. It's going to take me a while to, instead of going that way with it, to, to dunk it, I'm going to have, I go I have to go the other way. The other way. It's going to take me a while to, to rearrange my brain. Yeah, Willow said you could do a fold over of wire sandy that you could both back legs the repeat for the front shoulder to bezel frame yeah 
And then Moonstone Mamas, Moonstone Mama says, Hey, Sandy, I know you're busy, but I inherited a piece of Labradorite and I was hoping maybe you would be able to turn it into a ring for me. I can email you a picture of the stone. Okay. That's a big 10 for Moonstone Mamas. She'll take a look at that stone for you. <laughs> I can remember as a kid, I mean, like 12 or 13 years old, CB. Yeah. These were everywhere in the country. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that looks good, Sandy. I think those um, legs look good. I think I'm going to put them in the pickle pot and see what he yeah. like. I think that looks awesome. <clears throat> Moonstone Mama said, Thank you so much, Sandy. Sure, 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 sure. All right, back over on Ubu. Uh, come on, there we go. Okay, now I can see you guys. <laughs> oh dear man it's dark 30 already i know i know and my overhead light i just tried to turn it on because i always have it on when i um in it am in a video back here mm -hmm. and um i forgot in the middle of the night it blew <laughs> i got up and pulled the chain and it went <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Yes. Me too. Just hate it. So I really don't like the drapes in this house. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I want to be able to open them and close them, you know? Um, sometimes and those, <laughs> um, what do they call them? They're louver blinds. And they come in plastic. They also come in like a cloth. So it's mm -hmm. more like a curtain. But you can get them um, vertical. And then you just turn them, you know, like you do a big sliding glass door. Yeah. Blind. But you yeah. can get them for all over the windows. So that way you can have it closed or you can have it open. Well, what they've got in here, they've got shears in the middle. Uh huh. And then, um, well, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can open you. I want to turn you, baby. <laughs> oh, okay. See, they've got the little, and panels on the side. Yeah. But I got stuff in front of it. Yeah. You can see. So it's not real easy to get to the window. To the curtains, right? Yeah. Huh. So I'm going to have to go looking for some sort of a new find a little device to go yeah. my windows. So people can't come in here and peek at me. No peeking. They peek at you. Yeah. No peek zone. <laughs> come on, camera. Ah. You like that ring. Focus yeah, it on likes the ring. ring. There we go. There you go. Yeah. You got them people that peek, you know, and I just don't want them peekers around. I had a peeping Tom one time, and um, um, I, was, I, I was stunned. I mean, I we get up at like 4.15 in the morning with my husband, you know, make his coffee, make him breakfast, pack his lunch, et cetera, et cetera. And then by like, you know, five o'clock, he's out the door. And I'm thinking, I'm just going to, you know, fold some laundry and putz around the house until time for me to get ready for work. And I noticed that my kitten <clears throat> at the time was behind the bed, behind the uh, blinds. Mm -hmm. window and so I thought what in the world is that cat doing because he was up on his hind legs and he was just you know <clears throat> pawing at the window so I looked I had a dresser on each side of the bed and each of the dressers had a mirror so I looked in the mirror and was watching the cat in the window 
only to realize what I was watching in the background behind the cat was a guy doing his business. Oh. Sandy. With happy hands. Yes. Trust me when <laughs> I told you, I was, stunned. <laughs> I was shocked. I mean, I just never in a million years thought that I would have a peeping fall. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I turned right around. I went, and at this point, I'm here ringing in my ears. I feel like I'm going to fall out. Yeah. I went out to the kitchen. I picked up the phone and I dialed 911. And then I was stuttering so much on the phone, I could hardly get out what I wanted to say. And then when the police officer got there and knocked on the door, I just went and unlocked the door without turning the alarm off. Oh, <laughs> so needless to say, yeah. Um, uh, then I had to hurry up and run and go put in the code. And, and by then I was in like the biggest, fluffiest um, house coat I could find. I mean, it was like three inches fur thick on me because now I was like, oh my God, there was someone watching me outside my window and I didn't want even an inch of my skin to be showing, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad they sent a female police officer because yeah. she talked me, she talked me down. Yeah. Hi, Abraham. I have never encountered anything like that before and they knew exactly who it was. Uh, there was a pervert in the neighborhood. <laughs> and I said, well, I'm not sure if maybe he was just walking his dog or, you know, we lived in a pet building. We had cats. Well, he was walking a dog. Yeah, he was, was walking his dog. dog right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I was just so was shocked. And I couldn't believe it. I mean, I called my husband and I was like, uh, Okay, I, I need to tell you what happened. And I didn't even get halfway through with my story. And he started laughing. <laughs> well, like, what are you laughing for? <laughs> I'm traumatized. <laughs> I mean, I really felt like I had been, someone had invaded my privacy, you know? Mm -hmm. I just, I mean, I, I wanted to move at that point. <laughs> That's how goofy I was. Yeah. And I, like, man, I'm scared now, you know, knowing that yeah. I had a peepee -pee Tom outside my window and the police knew that there was one in the area and they kept their eye on him. They went straight to his house as soon as they left mine. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I think I would have gone out with my with my little friend Colt. Yeah. Well, I didn't have a little friend Colt at the time. <laughs> I didn't even want to go out to the door when it was daylight out at that point. And at that point, I it had scared me. I had never lived out in the country, never had experienced anything like that in my life. If, if there had been a peep and Tom at our window, my daddy would have killed him. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I was kind of um, very weirded out by that. Yeah. I when I was living in the San Luis Valley, I had a guy show up at my door at three o'clock in the morning. So I went out with my 12 gauge. I don't blame you. You know, I opened the door and he was looking down a double barrel shotgun. That's the first thing I'm going to do when I, um, you know, am into the trailer, whether, no matter whether it's in you know, Virginia or Pennsylvania, no matter where it's at. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to make sure I have a at least a little pea shooter in hand. Yeah. Something that I could, you know, shatter a kneecap with. I don't want to kill anybody, but I want to keep them from getting away so the police gets them. <laughs> <laughs> At the hardware store in the next town, they have a, a pistol that I would really like to get. It's a little 380 automatic, but it's got uh -huh. a, a laser sight on it, you know. Wow. <clears throat> so. My dad has so many guns at his house. I know when I go back home, he'll be like, don't bother buying a gun. I got you covered. <laughs> oh, Robert Jones is testing his new iPad. Oh, okay. yay, Robert. Is it doing okay? Can you see Sandy good and plain? Good and plain, Sandy. Well, that's not what I meant, but <laughs> focused, I meant, is what I meant to say. <laughs> yeah, just plain good, Sandy, you know. 
Yes, make sure you aim right. <laughs> yeah. Well, when I worked for Sandia Labs, I started on the guard force. And out of 300 guards, I was the top woman shooter. And I think I was number three out of 300 guys. So you did good then. I can't shoot like that anymore. Well, you don't know until you start practicing. I think yeah. maybe you and I need to go back into the back and practice <laughs> while I'm up there. We'll shoot some soda cans. Yeah, I mean, basically, we just have to walk out the, back, back in the backyard. Yeah, right out by your shed. <laughs> I can't wait to see your wildlife there. I'm so used to seeing deer. Do you have a salt lick for them? Do you put anything out for them? Yeah, I've got a salt lick. I need to go down to the pasture and get the um it's a 55 gallon drum that's cut off for water yeah and bring it up here and and have so some water got some water. you said you have like crab apples and stuff like that fruit for them yeah i have a crab apple tree out front and they've been eating that but they're all gone yeah and, oh, it was so funny um kent had a great big one of those big um buckets you know they're huge yes um, and he, when he first started picking the, the, um, peaches uh, off the trees, uh -huh. he put it in that. Well, then they sat too long and he couldn't use them for his jams. Oh, okay. And, um, Lee walked by there or Lee or Martha, I don't know, maybe Marty walked by anyway. Um, I think it was Marty. And she says, uh, are the deer eating the peaches? And. And Kent goes, well, I don't know. And she goes, well, I think they are. <laughs> Peach pits all over around this bucket. Oh, my so God. They tipped it over and ate all the peaches. And throw and wow. all of the pits. <laughs> oh, my. I thought that was great. Well, at least they didn't eat the pits. <laughs> no, no. But the apples, they eat the whole apple. And the Robert person, says it's all okay, but no sound. So that's not all okay. Not really. Uh-uh. I mean, if I had my druthers, whether I had sight or sound, I think I would choose sight. But, yeah, sound is pretty important there. Yeah. You miss all my beautiful singing. <laughs> 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 oh heaven forbid how do you guys put up with me I we love you not but that's what we love you for <laughs> you make us laugh sandy look when i got on here today i did not feel like laughing you and didn't I, think laugh. I wasn't only 10 15 minutes in until you had me laughing <laughs> So it's always good whether I feel like it or not. It's good for me to come in because you always make me laugh. <laughs> oh dear. So one day a week, I think I'm going to start an alcohol ink. Yes. Class. Okay. It's going to be for. Well, it's going to be for everybody, but specifically for people who would like to be an artist, but don't think they don't, they have any talent. Right. They don't think they've got talent. Right. So we're going to do, and it's going to be real inexpensive to get started. Less than 20 bucks, I think. Okay. To, uh, buy three colors of, of alcohol inks and then some four by four tiles tiles and we're going to do dreamscapes and to get your confidence up that you you too and that one video i watched she showed how to make the snowman the little snowman tiles they actually look kind of easy I mean, it doesn't look like it's too, and they look like pastels when you're done. They're beautiful. So I'm really looking forward to trying that with you. Oh, now he's got sound. Yay, Robert. Do you still have yeah, it's going to be fun, you know, because there's no pressure, no nothing. Just have fun with it. Exactly. 
because there's no right or wrong. There's no good or bad. There's exactly. no judgment, no nothing. Just do it. Uh -huh. um, don't make a wish, make it happen. You know? So. I like that saying. We need to get your, you some t-shirts that say that. Yeah. Make a wish or make it happen. Yeah. Just make it happen. So. I actually feel like when I come in to your videos, I feel like um, I, I can do it. I feel like I have the confidence that I can do it. Well, yeah, sure you do. I mean, you can do it. That's just it. You can. You just uh, Willow says she's got to go. She's getting started on her holiday cooking. Okay. Oh, and Robert says it's five, five seconds faster than the old computer. Cool. That's very cool. Yeah. You might have the fastest one on the block, Robert. Let's see. Okay, I just realized my dogs are outside. I'll be right back. Okay. Poor babies. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Pretty girl. Pretty kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Pause, 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 pause. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Oh, my cat's coming to me. Come here. <laughs> you too, Willow. Oh, you guys hiding? Huh? You hiding? You hiding? <laughs> You hiding? You were all hiding, weren't you? Huh. Where's Raz? Raz? I was calling Cinnamon to see if I could get her to come up to the camera, and my cat came over to me. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Where is Raz? Raz? Where's Raz? I'm missing a couple dogs, I think. Oh, no. They're right over there. Uh oh. Okay. I was gonna say I think I'd be checking your bedroom and your medications. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So this is what we've got. Bully bully. Oh, I'm really liking that. Bully bully. And his tail's going certain look horn tail. Yeah. You did a good job. <laughs> so I'm thinking I need to stamp around it for some sort of a border because I'm going to leave, you know, most of this silver. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Hi, Cinnamon. Hi, babies. Ah, you just got trampled by dogs. Uh, what do I want to do with this guy now? There she is. There she is. Pretty girl, Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Pretty girl. Pretty girl. She looks like she just wants to curl up and go to sleep in your lap. Pretty much. Yep. Don't you hate that though when they dig their nails in when they're up on your lap? Oh, oh yes. They think they're gonna slide off and they dig their nails in. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I'm glad that your new iPad is working out for you, Robert. That's always good. Aw. What do you think, Cinnamon? 
Is that good? You she like is it? such a pretty girl. Mm. Okay. You're not going to try to breed her or anything, are you? Oh, no, no. She's getting fixed. No, okay. do not want kittens. One cat, yes. Yeah. Many cats, no. Wouldn't be. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me. Oh, my grinder isn't hooked up. Let me hook up the grinder and take off the rough edges on this. And then figure out what we're going to do next. Even if it's wrong. Do it with confidence. Okay, so I think, I think, I think, I want to, let me switch you over to clad. Give it to us, Clyde. There, there we, we go. Uh, I just saw that little puppy run by. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. 
here. That would look pretty good. So make sure we got the top on the top of the tops and top. And the top's not the bottom. So and that just Don't go Looks like it. We got a bohemian in the midst. All right, back in the pickle pot. All right, almost finished, guys. Almost finished. Let it sit in the pickle pot for a minute, and then we'll buff it up and set that stone and see what we got. Oh, Yay. Yeah. There we go. Well, I didn't sleep at all last night, and I'm beginning to fade. Yeah. 
What time is it? Three after six. Well, hopefully you'll sleep good tonight. Yeah, I think so. I hope so. These animals are funny. They're fun to watch, aren't they? Yeah. Very entertaining. Have you ever had a cat, though, that didn't use the I bet you they still don't have to know what to think of cinnamon, do they? Did you ever, did you ever have a cat that didn't use a litter box? That did not use the litter box? No. That did not use the litter box. Does she go outside with the dogs to go to the bathroom? She'll, so you don't know where she's going. Oh, yeah, I know where she's going. She'll pee in the litter box most of the time, <laughs> but she'll poop everywhere. Okay. Huh. I thought... I thought cats always use the litter box, but normally they do. I mean, their first instinct is to bury it. Yeah. And well, I wish you'd go back in the house. house. They'll dig in your dirt. Yeah. Yeah. No. no, she'll just poop on the carpet. I have actually seen cats who do use the um, toilet to go to the bathroom, but they were trained to do that. Yeah. But I think they have to be litter box trained before you can toilet train them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they have to be going somewhere. Yeah. Now, I know that there were cats in here before, and I imagine that there's all sorts of smells, but. Yeah, I imagine so, too, because they're very sensitive to smells. So, yeah. Come on up, Lacey, if you want up here. Crazy. Crazy cat. Crazy, crazy cat. I cannot sit in this shop without looking at stones. Just can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's your passion. Yeah, sort of. Sort of, sort of. Sort of. <laughs> Kind of like rocks. I didn't realize I had this much of that ribbon turquoise left. Oh. It's not the real the real high grade that I had, but it's still pretty nice. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I haven't cut any of this in a long time. Ooh, this one would make a great petroglyph guy. Ooh, yeah. It almost looks like it has a necklace on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I think cool. we have to make this one into a petroglyph guy. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, it's but it the 
the males are the ones that spray, right? The cats. Of the cats? Yeah. They can both spray, but the males are more apt to do it because um, they're marking their territory against other males. Oh, okay. Well, why don't I just take this thing off and look in the bucket, Sandy? <laughs> oh, that's going to make a nice stone. I started cutting that one. That one's pretty nice. Like that one. Yeah, males and females do both spray, but um, the males are the one who are worst at it because marking against other males. All right, well, I got four stones. Yeah, a lot of times, Mary, it does help um, with the spraying because the male become less um, territorial because um, they've been uh, neutered. But um, they can still do it after. Ooh, that was pretty. Yeah, let me uh, They can still spray even after uh, they're neutered. Oh, man. <clears throat> Look at what's inside the stone. Can you see it? I. It's an animal. That looks like the ribbon. Yeah. You see, you see the horse or the giraffe or whatever in there? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say it has a really long neck. Yeah. And a tail. And That's everything. cool. It's got a little tail on you it. You couldn't have done that even if you tried. No. Nope. Yep. I think that one's a keeper. We'll cut that. Yep. That one's perfect. Yep. It sure is. Cool. Cool beans. Mr. Yeah. Beans. Whoops. Love it when a plane comes together. I love it. Is this Monday or Tuesday? Monday. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. Nothing, honey. Yeah, I sure oh, do I like that one. That is just too cool. To have that animal. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. I like it. I like it a lot. Yep. Sort of reminds me of one of the cartoons that has a horse in it. Sort of like a long neck like that and a long yeah. face. Yeah. I cannot remember though. <coughs> yeah. Oh, that'll be fun to do something with. Yeah. 
I wonder if it's that shape the whole way through the rest of the stone. No, because that's the back side. Okay. So it's just right there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> now I got to wonder, did God put that there for his amusement or for ours? <laughs> I choose to think it's for my amusement. Yeah. Gumby. That's it. Gumby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very Pelletier. Yeah. Hit that nail right on the head, she did. So, I'm wondering if I should blacken around this thing. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to oxidize it. I think I am. Come here, workbench. I like the look of the oxidation, and I think nine times out of ten, it totally enhances it. Yeah. Well, we'll see what it does. If I don't like it, I can always buff it off. Hey, Mary Swanson. Hi, Mary. Lydia Twina says she's got the Gumby and the horse Pokey also. <laughs> oh gosh. I think I think that's what that reminded me of, Pokey. Yeah. How's it coming, Sandy? Yeah, it's a coming. Just about right here. Yeah, I think that's gonna look better, make it stand out a little bit more. There we go. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Nice. So let me buff it and see what we got here, kids.
coming. Hey, girl. Yes, up here. Can you smile for the camera? Okay, look out, kid. Lisa Donio. So I'm going to think about this thing. I'm not going to set the stone right away, but because I want to think about it. Oh, that is so pretty. Something else to it. So we're going to leave it that like that. That is really nice. For right now. You guys like that? Yeah. Be below. I be below. love it. Yeah. I need to. I don't know. I'm just not going to set the stone right now. Right. So, um, I need to think about it a little bit. Really like that. That is really pretty. Yeah, and I put two big hangers on the back so you can put cord okay. through it, you know? Right. Right. Because this is kind of a bohemian style piece. So, Raz, knock it off. Wish you figure you'll start that one for the auction. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about this one. I don't know. I well, it's going to depend on what kind of a necklace I put it on, too. Right. You know, if I put it on, um, stop it, guys. Uh, if I put it on uh, sterling or if I put it on uh, stone, uh huh, or if I hand make a chain for it, you know, it's. The price is going to be uh -huh. good. So we'll right. see. But I'm just not sure that it I want really it really turned out good. Okay. Turned out really good, but I bet you you're still going to find something to um, make it even better. <laughs> yeah. Because you're I still thinking. Yeah, something going on in my brain. I'm not I'm not <laughs> real sure what I want to do. If anything, I might not I may end up just leaving it just like it is, but yeah. I'm just going to wait to set the stone and let it percolate in my brain. Yes, in the mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> what happens in the mush brain world? A lot of good things happen in that much brain. <laughs> Not that much. All that artistic. Oh, let me tell you, all that <clears throat> artistic stuff running around up there. And I'd be willing to say that as artistic as you are, you haven't even tapped your reservoir yet. Yeah. Because your 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 pieces, just when I think, you know, you can't you go and top yourself every time. Are you trying to say I'm evolving? <laughs> there you go. I'm so itchy tonight. I don't know what my problem is. All right, guys. Yes. Well, go Mary says your brain works over time. 
<laughs> yeah, it does. I mean, I will roll that piece around in my head for hours tonight. Um, I think it looks really good the way it is. Um, Beth Collins says um, looks really great to her. I don't know. I just got to I just got to percolate on it. Just let well, it and, and that's the thing. You're realizing. I mean, you're you're aware of the fact that you're not done yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't know. I may do nothing to it. I don't know. I don't know. Are those dogs horsing around? Yes. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to go find something to eat. And I'm going to lay my poor old body down. Just There off. you go. Get some rest. Yep. Yep. Guys, thanks for coming in and sharing your evening with me. I really appreciate it. You guys inspire me. Stop it. Children. Behave. We have company. <laughs> Minor <laughs> man. Do you yes. want to take you out to the car? <laughs> oh, we're at home, aren't we? <laughs> Gotta take him out to the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, put him in doggy jail. Yep. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh i will be on tomorrow morning wednesday i have to go to richfield so i don't know whether i'll be on or not but tomorrow i definitely okay. will be. and we'll make some all right or we'll cut some stones or we'll do something all right guys thanks for coming right by ear and wing it Thanks for right. supporting the, the channel. I love you guys. I really do appreciate you. And I'll say bye from Farron. And Vicky's going to say bye from Tucson, Arizona. There you go. She got it right. All right, guys. Good night. <laughs>